What's up, everybody? This is Aztec101 in the ring. And, um, yeah, I want to talk about Manny Pacquiao versus Chris Algieri. All right. Chris Algieri is a lot taller compared to Pacquiao than I thought he would be. Um, and I don't count him out. I would not count him out. Not quite yet. The guy did a really good job against Provodnikov. I mean, he was knocked out, knocked down. I think it was several times in that fight. But I was early in the fight, and he came back, adjusted, and was able to box very, very well. Very well. Now, Manny Pacquiao is a completely different animal. Completely different. So I really don't know exactly how this is going to work out if Manny Pacquiao is going to have any disadvantage because of the reach, height, size. I mean, we've seen Manny Pacquiao do so much that at this point, you know, Chris Algieri almost seems like a layup. Easy, right? I could do that easy on a bad day. That's what it seems like, but I still think that there's a little bit of underestimation of, you know, what Chris Algieri can do. We've, we've seen what he did against Provodnikov, but other than that, he just does not have the same, you know, he just doesn't have the same uh, uh, resume as, as Manny Pacquiao, so it's a little, you know, to him to fight Manny Pacquiao. Obviously, people are going to favor Pac-Man. Now, this isn't a prediction video. I'm not putting down a prediction quite yet. But, you know, I just want to put down my feelings. I know a lot of people aren't really happy with this fight. They think, why Chris Algieri? Why is Pacquiao fighting Chris? You know, is this some kind of, uh, you know, tune-up fight for, for something else? Um... I think, you know, a lot of people wanted to see Pacquiao versus Provodnikov, and then when Chris Algieri beat Provodnikov, then it made Algieri, you know, an obvious opponent. Sometimes fans create certain things, and, and a lot of times fans have short-term memory. They have short-term memory, and they forget that, well, the fight you were asking for, you know, either last year or the year before is the reason why we have this fight now. You know, and um, you know the same thing happened with uh, with. I mean, you could look you you could look at a trail. You can say the same thing happened with Maidana and Floyd. You know, I mean the only reason we're we're, we're seeing Maidana and Floyd now again is because they fought the first time, right? But why did they fight the first time? Because. A lot of people were overhyping Adrian Broner. And apparently, Maidana beating Adrian Broner was such a huge victory because Broner was that overrated. You know? It, 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 it was enough of a step, enough of a boost to get him to that Mayweather fight. He was able to make that fight close. And then now we're seeing it again. I guarantee you, if Broner was not overhyped from the beginning, he would have never gotten the Mayweather fight. Ever. He would have never gotten the Mayweather fight. So, um, you know, a lot of people wanted to see Chris Algieri, I mean, uh, uh, Peronikov versus Manny Pacquiao. Chris Algieri thoroughly outboxed him. He, th he really, he won that fight, man. He won that fight. He was at the brink of losing. But man, did he win that fight. That was a fight that Provodnikov could have definitely, I mean, maybe he could have. It looked like he had the, the ability to win and the drive to win. He just didn't have the skills to keep up with Algeri. And it looks like Algeri can genuinely box. He can really move around the ring well. He's active enough. So that way, you know, even though you do land the bigger punches, 
Even though you're landing the bigger punches, he's landing in volume. He's still landing in volume. So it's it, and he's he's pretty accurate. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder being accurate with Pacquiao because I, Pacquiao isn't just going to come in in a straight line. He he gives you different looks, and uh, so Pacquiao is like I said, a different animal, a different animal. Chris Algieri looked great against Provodnikov. Does not mean he's going to look good against Pacquiao, and so I mean I. I'll do a prediction video once I get a little bit more on Chris Algieri. I kind of need to break that fight down a little bit more. But as of right now, I'm not really too upset with the fight. I'm not. I'm intrigued. You know? You know, Pacquiao's giving us different style of fighters that he's fought. I mean, from the last few fighters, not one is alike. You know? From Bradley to Marquez to Rios to Chris Algieri, you know, they're, they're just different fighters, different styles, and, um, you know, I, I, I actually, I can't wait, I can't wait just to see how that style looks against Pacquiao, you know, he's tall, he's skinny, he's uh, got long reach, it looks like, you know, the advantages as far as size are going to be in Algieri's favor, but then again, like I said, I've seen Manny Pacquiao fight big dudes, and he's he does really well. So, um, and he's not always the one with the longer reach, but he can still get in and out. So, I don't know if that'll really be much of a advantage for Chris. But let me know what you guys think. Are you, you know, do you want to see the fight? Uh, how do you feel about it? I'm glad that I'm talking about it now, not a few weeks ago or a month ago when everybody was gonna, everybody was complaining about the fight. Comparing it to Floyd and Maidana and blah, 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 blah. Just a bunch of petty bullshit. I mean, I, I, I think the fight <clears throat> makes sense. Are there other fights I would rather see? Obviously. Obviously. But it makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Uh, this is Aztec 101 in the ring, and I'm out.